Hey guys, this is Eric Wilson, a field agronomist for Northeast Iowa for Bex Hybrids. Today I want to talk to you uh, a little bit about purple leaves in corn. So I've been getting quite a few calls about purpling uh, right here in this field. It's really not too bad. We got a good planting date on this field. I think it was uh, uh, 5313, I believe, planting this field. But you can see on some of those earlier, those first leaves that came out, um, we do have a little bit of purpling in corn. So uh, what I'll preface this with saying is certain hybrids are more prone to this than others. Um, in fact, if we look back here, uh, sometimes this can just be a little bit of accumulation of sugars. You see on this leaf here, it got broken off uh, during their side dress pass, and you get a little bit of purpling that's actually anthocyanin, which is uh, a sugar compound, and it can accumulate in the leaves and cause some of that purpling. But on these lower leaves, um, what I believe is happening is this is probably due to restricted root growth uh, just due to the nature of the beast and in the spring that we dealt with uh, in north central Iowa and this this looks to be a little bit of phosphorus deficiency now you can see on the later leaves uh, they've come out of it nicely they're progressing very well these corn plants are at uh, v6 for the most part across the field look very healthy uh, and progressing very nicely with the growing season. But back to what can cause this, um, especially in wet years when we have wet planting conditions, we can get restricted root growth. To illustrate that a little better, uh, I dug up this plant here, um, and just to show you, it was sitting in the row like that. So if we look at it this way, uh, we've got some pretty good root development. Nice side to side, pretty even. Now if I turn this 90 degrees, you can see that that's pretty narrow. Uh, what that root system did is it followed the seed trench. So it's restricted from going out this way and the opposite way. Uh, that can cause, you know, reduced nutrient uptake, especially in wet years like this where soil temperatures are a little cooler. We're not getting enough heat to mineralize uh, all the available phosphorus in the soil. Um, at the end of the day, uh, assuming you know this, the the seed trench with this one doesn't become a problem, things should turn out just just fine, completely normal. Um, but it is something to watch for, keep an eye on in your fields. If you're noticing that, that that's probably what's causing it this year. Uh, if you have any concerns about it, you know, reach out to your uh, your trusted seed advisor or your your Bex advisor. Uh, we're happy to come out and and take a look at it with you. Um, you can usually pretty easily diagnose it if you pull a soil sample Check it for phosphorus levels more than likely. They're gonna come back in sufficient range It's really just due to the restricted root growth that we're having uh, In north central Iowa and northeast Iowa this this growing season from from some of those planting conditions that we had to fight through this spring So again, if you got any questions uh, reach out to us uh, reach out to myself and again, thank you very much for listening and hope everyone's getting along okay this, this early summer.